privilege this morning to have the La Norte Story of Ulets, is part the tourism department of our municipality. To start with, we now request everybody to please stand for our Christian prayers to be followed by the Muslim prayers to be given to us by the selected students of Magsaysay National High School and to be followed by our national anthem, Lana del Norte Hill and the Municipal Hill. Thank you. 
To give us his warm welcome this morning, may I call on our Municipal Mayor, Honorable Harun D. Omar. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Our active provincial administrator, City Amina Kibransa di Maporo, the future governor of Lano del Norte. The Provincial Tourism Consultant, Ma'am Buling de la Cruz. Our Provincial Tourism Officer, Alarma Grace Yorum. And to all the triathletes from, coming from different places of the Philippines. Of course, my only one, Ninet Barranco Omar. SB members in attendance, department heads, barangay captains, barangay officials, our school principal of Magsaysay National High School, Mr. Rene Montesa, our school principal, Cancambo Elementary School of Barangay Olango, Mr. Jaime Yorong, Deep Ed Family Umar ng mga bisita Ato ang PNP Good morning Assalamualaikum Warakmatulay Ta'ala Wabarakato My warm greetings to all our visitors This morning It is with great pride and honor To welcome you all Especially the triathletes who spend your little time to come to the municipality. We in the local government unit are now on the verge of developing our local tourism site, which is the venue of our short program today, by showcasing some of our farm tourism attraction. This is made possible through the effort of the provincial government of Plano del Norte, headed by our very own governor, Ang Genki Mpranza di Maporo and the second district Congressman Abdullah Babi di Maporo by identifying the municipality of Magsaysay as pilot municipality for farm tourism. We have just celebrated our first year anniversary since we were declared as pilot municipality and for now it is the local government units move and desire to construct the needed facilities, amenities, and introduce further developments in the physical structure of this site. As of today, we can offer you some of the activities that you can experience in your stay in our municipality. And with the hope that for the next days to come, you can still find time to visit again for another sightseeing activities. And for the information of everybody, this farm tourism is a joint project of the provincial government and the local government of Magsaysay. And maybe next time, pag visit ninyo dito, itong site natin, eh, umpisahan na namin i-develop by next month. So, makita natin yung banda dito, yung medyo bundok. Eh, gawin natin dyan na uh, flower garden. Yung tagasibo ng mga bisita natin, yung sa Siraw. Uh, nagpunta na ako doon, nagbisita, tinignan ko. So, parang i-replicate namin ito sa Siraw. So, dyan. Tapos, si Governor Angging Kibransa, may ibibigay siya na uh, multi-purpose building makita nyo sa right side yung picture ng building i-construct natin yan dyan sa uh, taas sa uh, ibabaw ng itong mal mal uh, kunting bundok no? so halal food ang i-serve natin dyan kaya kasi para may kunting restaurant tapos itong site natin mag-construct tayo dito ng ano yung swimming pool no so, lagyan natin ng swimming pool para yung mga local tourists natin ma-attract, mag-bisita dito sa uh, bayan ng Magsaysay. So, marami pa kami mga plano 
na i-gagamin dito sa farm tourism site natin para ang magsaysay ay magiging tourist destination. So, in behalf of the people of Magsaysay and the local government units, uh, gusto naming pasalamatan ang ating uh, provincial government, Governor Angging Dimapuro, Congressman Khalid Dimapuro, at Congressman Abdullah Babi Dimapuro. Of course, ang ating provincial administri administrator, si Ma'am Amina Kibrasa Dimapuro, sa napakalaking tulong ang ibinibigay ninyo ngayon sa magsaysay. At nakita namin na ang magsaysay ay uh, medyo umaangat na, medyo medyo ning sikat gamay, pinagi sa pag-promote sa to ang provincial tourism, no? Thank you, Ma'am Buling and Alerma, no? So, ako ay nagpapasalamat sa lahat, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga triathletes, no? Uh, bisita, no? From Luzon, Visayas, o Mindanao, no? So, thank you, and more power, God bless. Um, so, that is a very uh, great evidence that the municipality of Magsaysay is now improving in the Department of Tourism. Up next is the giving of brief history of Magsaysay to be given to us by Mr. Novel B. Alfici, our secretary in Sangguniang Bayan. Thank you, Jen. Good morning, Salat. Good morning, everybody. My task this morning is to deliver to you a very brief history of Magsaysay, Lano del Norte. The municipality of Magsaysay is located in the hinterland of the province of Lano del Norte with a distance of 18 kilometers from the municipality of Tubod, the capital town of the province. Magsaysay is relatively a new municipality. It was created into a municipal district in March 22, 1960 by virtue of executive order number 389. It was declared a municipality only on December 19, 1965 by virtue of Executive Order 215. Part of Magsaysay is a resettlement area by Proclamation Number 658-P-2. It has 24 barangays with a total land area of 15,182 hectares, which is largely used for agriculture with coconut and corn as the main crops. There are two ethnic groups in the place, the Muslims which average to 40% and Christians of 60%. The place was once an obscure land named by Muslim ancestors as Rarab, a city of Barangay Birwar in the municipal district, district of Tangkal of the undivided Lano province before. It was christened Rarab because according to Muslim elders, the place oftentimes caught by big fire than by mostly by traders. In the early part of 1954, a group of men led by Haji Makasamat B. Omar, Felipe Lumanta Sr., Florencio El Opay, and some residents and tenant farmers from Cabasagan, Lala, Lano del Norte, went to discover and explore the place. The exploration team started from Cabasagan, Lala, Lano del Norte, following the foot road, passing Barangay Kalilangan of Tubod to the last camp of Finlay Miller Timber Company, known as Kampong Banning, and later on named as Daan Campo. Since the journey was almost a day hike, so the team passed the night in hammocks with a routine night watch. The following day, the team went home to Kabasagan with hope in their hearts to come back and make a settlement in the area. Early in the morning of the following month, a bigger group of courageous men and women from Misamis Occidental, Sambuanga del Norte, Sambuanga del Sur, and Misamis Oriental, numbering to more or less 
100 persons led again by Omar and Lumantas went back to establish a settlement who were equipped with bolos, nails, and carpentry tools. Since then, the pioneers began to settle the place. For more than a couple of years, Magsasay that time was known as the jungle city of the province. Since peace, progress, and unity in the settlement were known throughout the province of Lanao del Norte and its neighboring provinces. Since then, hundreds of families were arriving to settle the place, hoping that they may also have a piece of land to be called as their own. So that in the latter part of 1957, the total population of Magsaysay went up to more than 1,000 families and settlers which were awarded with a 6-hectare family-sized economic farm. In the early part of 1959, the place was separated from the municipality of Tangkal and Magsaysay became a municipal district. First appointed municipal district mayor was Haji Maksama B. Umar. The set of government of Magsaysay municipal district was in Barrio Biruar of Tangkal, Lanao del Norte. And because of the insistence of the leaders and the, and the majority of the settlers, the set of government of the municipal district of Magsaysay was then transferred to Bago Aingod, now the population. Magsasay became a regular municipality during the presidency of President Jos Dado Macapagal. The place was named Magsasay in honor of the late President Ramon Magsasay who met his untimely death in a plane crash who gave birth of the land reform bill. The first elected mayor of the town was Haji Magsama Biomar. The succession of town's leadership was made principally by the Omar family. And to name a few succession of terms, the town was first headed by former Mayor Magsamat Biomar for more than two decades, then passed on to Mayor Harun Biomar in his first set of three consecutive terms, then followed by his younger brother, former Mayor Heroni Omar for three consecutive terms also, then followed by former Mayor Asisa Sarangani Omar for only one term. And now, for the second time, unopposed incumbent mayor Harun D. Omar Sr. The municipality now has a total population of 19,019 based on 2015 survey. A fifth-class municipality and a parcel of seal of good housekeeping in 2011 and a parcel of seal, seal of good local governance in 2015. And for Next year's evaluation, the municipality as, is aspiring to pass the SGLG of the Department of the Interior and Local Government. As a Yugan town, the municipality is celebrating the Yugan Festival every 23rd day of May. For the present time, the municipality is a recipient of several projects from the national line agencies through the airport of Congressman Bobby Di Maporo. In the meantime, the municipality is now concentrating on its farm tourism activities. That's all and thank you.